Dance is crucial in everything that we do. Her ambition in life is to become a politician someday. Don't be insane with Dane, our candidate number two. in TSWD. To become an outstanding events host is her dream. Life is beautiful, so we always have to be grateful. That's our candidate number three, Mervyn. from her largest barangay, Barangay Sevilla. She dreams of becoming a teacher someday. There goes Edmund, our candidate number four. makeup artist and a hairdresser. She currently lives in Barangay Kabarwan and believes that everything happens for a reason. Oh my, that is our candidate number five, Mikey. to play volleyball during your free time. Put God first in everything that you do, says our sixth candidate, Justin. a senior high school student. Her ambition in life is to become a future tourism officer. Her motto is to live life to the fullest and focus on the positive. There she is, candidate number seven, Kate. <laughs> You have to see our eighth candidate, RJ. RJ is a croupier in a casino and dreams of working in a cruise ship someday. Never give up. Today is hard. Tomorrow will be worse. But the day after tomorrow will be sunshine. These are words from our candidate number eight, RJ. Now let's make way for candidate number nine, Mika. Mika resides in Barangay Katpangin. She believes that the physical attributes of a person in time will change, but the goodness of the heart will last a lifetime. We heard that right from Mika, our candidate number nine. studying Bachelor of Science in Accountancy at the University of Northern Philippines. She dreams of becoming a certified public accountant and a lawyer someday. There goes our candidate number 10, Advocate. <laughs> Tchau, tchau, perguntei o que é isso, ela disse que eu te ensinar, é uma 
dança sensual em Curitiba já pegou em Porto Alegre e escondeu. Let's keep our eyes on stage for candidate number 11, Nordum. Nordum believes that there are no limitations in dreams if you work hard. A freelance makeup artist from Barangay Katbangen, Nordum, our candidate number 11. You are looking now at Jam, our number 12 candidate. Jam dreams of becoming a flight stewardess someday. She loves dressing up, dancing, and celebrating diversity. Candidate number 12, Jam. JJ hails from Barangay Poro and has an ambition of becoming a future model someday. Candidate number 13 loves to dance and walk with her pasarelas. Make way for JJ, our candidate number 13. is candidate number 14, Luis. Luis is a political science student who loves to read, watch debates, and play badminton in her pastime. She lives by her motto to be an advocate of practicing what you preach. Candidate number 14, Shaina 
is a student from La Union National High School. She envisions herself as an educator one day. She is shining, Shaina, our candidate number 19. The stage is up for Margarita, our candidate number 20. Margarita is a BS Information Technology graduate and dreams of becoming a successful programmer soon in the future. God is always at my side, whatever happens, says candidate number 20, Margarita. And last but not the least is candidate number 21. a student taking up Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management. A successful hotelier is what she dreams of becoming. Always giving her best, that is Erica, candidate number 21. of the city government of San Fernando and happened to be our schoolmate at Philippine Christian University in Manila, Mark Miranda Aquino. Palakpaka naman po natin for a job well done. Mark Lakbay, ayan. And of course, we'd also like to thank G Events and Productions owned by Ms. Jeanette Segundo. Palakpaka po natin mga kaibigan for being the official prod. Of course, thank you so much. We would also like siyempre na marinig ang mga bet ng ating mga audiences tonight. So let me start here. Sino po sa tingin nyo ang ating best in swimwear? My God! Ay, nakotik na naman natin dito Grabe. sa kabilang side. Sino naman ang bet ninyong manalo? 
Ay, may patorpulin si Momshi. Akala ko may birthday, Dr. Angelica. Ah, birthday po ba? Akala ko, Parche. Oo, parang 99th birthday. <laughs> Ayan, pero siyempre, hindi papatalo dito! Ayun, oh. ay, itinayo niya ang bandera. Pinaghirapan. Nako, talaga nga namang ramdam na ramdam na natin ang ating fiesta celebration because of the warm, of the, the, the warm support of everybody here at the City Plaza, Dokyari. Yes, Dr. Angelica, and while waiting for the result, We would like again to reiterate, of course, the criteria for judging for our best and creative costume. And they will be judged according to beauty, 40%, poise and confidence, 40%, creativity of the costume, 20%, for a total of 100%. I believe uh, the, same, the same applies to the different categories. And of course, para po sa ating final round, they will be judged according to this criteria. 60% for the beauty and 40% for the wit and intelligence. Kaya exactly. magkakaalaman tayo mamaya. And of course, in a few minutes, we'll be awarding, of course, our first set of special awards. We have our Miss Body Beautiful. We have Miss Beautiful Hair. Miss Friendship. Miss Winsome Smile. Queen of the Rum. And Miss Feminine Look. Grabe, ang dami nilang ano, award tonight. Thank you so much, Sir Nikki. And we already have with us the result. Again, ladies, good luck. This is the moment of truth. Special awards will be presented by Mayor Don Gilberto, Honorable City Councilor Kyle Nise, Pablo Ortega, and SK Federation President Precious Basila. And our first award for this set is the Miss Beautiful Hair. Nako, sino kaya ang uh, may pila ka magandang? Hairstyle. Who's tonight. your bet? What number? Come on! Wow. Ay, nako. Grabe yung energy dito sa side na to. Uh -oh. Papatalo ko yung mga andi rito. Ayan. So, our Miss Beautiful Hair is... You are lucky tonight. Because you are our Miss Beautiful Hair candidate number 15. Congratulations! Wow! Indeed, beautiful hair, Neba. Congratulations! Thank you to our presenters, our beloved city mayor, and the Honorable SK Federation President, the Honorable Precious Porawan Basila. This time, we're going to be awarding our Miss Feminine Look. Our Miss Feminine Look is candidate number one. Congratulations, candidate number one. The most feminine among our candidates. And to award, we have Honorable Kyle Nise.
queen of the ramp. Queen of the ramp is candidate number 13. Congratulations, candidate number 13. Nice to see Kong Bob here tonight. Yes, Deva. Thank you so much for Kong Sehal Pablo Ortega. This time we're gonna be awarding our Miss Body Beautiful. And our Miss Body Beautiful is candidate number. In fairness. Oh, in fairness. Wow. Papapasa na all na lang talaga, di ba? Parang okay. wala tayo nun. Wala Para ako yung nahiya dun sa sinabi niya. Correct. Wala ako nun. <laughs> Bakit siya meron? It's so unfair. But anyway. Congratulations, congratulations. to your candidate number nine. And our next award is Miss Winsome Smile. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, or Miss Winsome Smile? Candidate number 12. Congratulations, candidate number 12. Take your spot. That smile, Deva. That is jump the line. Award for this set is we have our Miss Friendship, and you are none other than. Sino kaya ang pinaka congenial among the candidates? Yes, the friendliest among the 21 lovely and stunning candidates. You are candidate number, number four. four. Oh, it's. I think it's a lady coming from Barangay, Sevilla. Congratulations to all the winners of our first set of special awards. And to the rest of the ladies still, good luck. We still have the evening gown. And of course, the preliminary interview. And thank you very much, Pope for Mayor we'll Dong, Kong Sehal Pablo, and of course, Mom Precious and Sir Kyle. Thank you so much. Yes, grabe. Congratulations again, ladies. Patikim pa lang po yan ng ating first set of special awards. Exactly. And talking about patikim, ngayon naman, let's focus our eyes on the screen as we watch another audiovisual presentation. Let's Please. all watch this. Watch this. Uy, plastic, bawal magtapon ng basura. Yeah. Yan ang turo ng doers sa amin. Ako si Miguel, ang nagpasimula ng araw-araw na paglilinis dito sa dalampasigan ng barangay Dalumpinas Pueste. Dalumpinas West Eco Rangers or Doers. Kami yung araw-araw na naglilinis sa Dalampasigan ng Dalumpinas West. And also, kami po ay gumagawa din ng mga iba pang environmental activities, katulad ng pagtatanim ng mga puno sa Baybay, and also coastal patrolling and monitoring kapag merong mga pawikan during the turtle season. Ngayon, may mga ipapapakaming mga activities na idinagdag katulad ng pagtatanim ng mga gulay, halaman, at iba pang mga pananim. Nagsimula ang doers dahil sa passion and dedication na magkaroon ng uh, group na naglilinis, committed din sa pag-aalaga din ng dalampasigan. Pangarap ko 
tapos sa ating paligiran ay maging malinis. Nakita namin lumaki yung mga tinanim namin na nyo, mga talisay. Kasi po, mas maganda kung tignan ng agad kung malinis po.